Ace, pick read. Okay, so it's uh, lowercase i. Uh. <laughs> oh, hello, Cosmo Quest. What's going on? I am writing Python 3 code that calls in through PyBind into a C++ community fork of, our, of an HTM implementation. And I'm just poking around, testing things out, seeing what, oh, is it size, not length? Okay. ND array, it's uh, size, I think, not length. Um, oh, it's a, hi, hi, everybody. Where'd you guys come from? <laughs> I got, I, something just happened. There's a bunch more people in here. I don't know. Brains. Hello, disillusioned. Thanks everybody for joining. It looks like uh, somebody raided me or pushed a bunch of followers my, or people my way. Let me let me tell you what I'm doing. I am um, I'm working on an HTM implementation. HTM is hierarchical temporal memory. Let me get HTM. And there's also some commands if you want to use them. Um, but we've got a C++ implementation of HTM, and I was, I'm not a C++ person, I'm, I'm a Python 2, I know Python 2, and we're trying to make sure that we have, we can have executable Python 3 that can invoke this code in here through PyBind, and I'm finding that a lot of this work has already been done by excellent people in our community, like uh, Breznak, for example. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing a lot of um, AI stuff. Um, with hierarchical temporal memory specifically. Um, every Thursday I do a, a series called Building HTM Systems, which is um, going to be a visual website essentially with a bunch of visualizations on, on how to create HTM systems. Um, so thanks everybody coming from wherever you guys came from. I still don't know <laughs> where you came from. Uh, oh wait, I can tell from the sticker, right? Cause Cosmo Quest is the, is that where you guys came from? I gotta check it out. Yeah, cause I'm getting hosted by Cosmo Quest. That's so cool, thank you so much. There I am, yay. I really appreciate it. Uh, learn and do science on Cosmo Quest, awesome. Yes, science, science. This is all about science, biology, computational. This is a computational neuroscience, science themed channel. And we talk a lot about brains and and how we think intelligence works in the brain and how it's different than most of the artificial neural networks that we have today it's more complicated than that so i've got a ton of content back in my videos if you want to go look i've been streaming for a few weeks almost every day so there's a ton of content oh i like that i like that emote i'm gonna have to you guys are all from the science community on twitter that's excellent um so at the moment, I am, I am succeeding here. I've got a Python 3 uh, test, uh, not a test, but a, a Python 3 script that's setting up all of these parameters to create a spatial pooler. And spatial pooler is a cellular structure that takes cell activations in an input space and normalizes them into a set of active mini columns. So if you're, if you're interested in neuroscience at all, look up the idea of mini columns. Um, and this is what the spatial pooler is simulating. It's, it, it's a, a pooling operation that's happening in several layers of your neocortex, um, definitely in two, three, and most likely in other places um, where these inhibitive cells cause mini columns structures to occur now I'm, now I'm just going off and, and talking about the science. But they cause these mini column structures to occur in, in your cortex. Um, and uh, it, it, it does this pooling operation. So it, it enforces a receptive field on the input space. I've got a bunch of videos about this. Um, if you're interested in the YouTube channel, uh, I have a, a video series called HTM School and it talks about all this stuff on YouTube and my Twitch thing is to engage our community of builders that want to build HTM systems. And um, so far, I'm having a lot of success with this, especially because the, you guys are helping me figure out how to do the stuff that I'm, I'm going to be doing anyway, which is amazing. So 